long before the Golden Eagles take the floor, before the band fires up the crowd, and before the student section fills up. Every cut, step, and jump a Marquette basketball player makes is watched, recorded, and quantified into hard data, and not just during a game. Yeah, one. Uh -huh. Snap, JJ, snap, JJ, move it fast. Move Technology fast. has changed nearly everything a college student does. Good, Tracy, good. And college basketball is no different. When I first started in this business, um, it was all about how much weight you could lift, how much weight you could lift, how much weight you could lift, how much weight you could lift. Um, and if you look at in physics, force equals mass times acceleration. I was always worried about the mass, always worried about the mass. Well, now that we have a chance to look at speeds, um, velocities and the power outputs, that's what true athleticism is, is how much power you can produce. Come on, Haney, come on, Haney, show up on me, Haney, push with your feet. Todd Smith is director of sports performance at Marquette. His job is to maximize the physical abilities of each athlete Let's get started, baby. while preventing injury at the same time. The technology provides an amazing amount of data. So every time he does a rep, it's going to show his, his power output. And his goal is to try to get that number as high as possible every time. Come on, Scar. Dip, pop. Good. So what that does is it, it allows us to know what weight elicits the highest power output that he can generate. The feedback is instant. Each player can immediately see the results, which are put up on a big screen TV. Nobody likes to be on the bottom of that board. And the instant motivation is to go harder, and whatever number I get, they try to approach it harder and beat it the next time. It's great. Um, you know, you, you always want to beat your number, and it's always the highest one you want. Uh, and, you know, usually the team competes against each other, so, uh, you know, to have the highest one is, you know, some bragging rights. And they can immediately review video of every rep. So this is a replay of Wally almost getting to his best. So this exercise is called a hang snatch. While he's not only a basketball player, he's also a high jumper. So he's doing something totally different than the rest of those basketball guys. On game days, every movement a Golden Eagles player makes is tracked from the time they take the floor for warm-ups. This is our <clears throat> player tracking system called Catapult. What it does is it basically tracks the players, what they call player load and it's how much they work. We put it up here between his shoulder blades, and every time he stops, starts, jumps, accelerates, decelerates, cuts left, cuts right, he's ready to go now. The tracking system, Catapult, provides what is known as IMA, Inertial Movement Analysis. Marquette players wear it for every practice, game, and conditioning drill. Anytime they put their shoes on, you put this, this deal on too. It's a basically a way to take the guesswork out of coaching what's the right amount of work and it quantitates it so a coach gets a number every day after practice, gets a number after the games, gets a number after shoot around so he can say if it was hard, if it was easy, if it needs to be a medium day, if it needs to be a light day. The technology is utilized by pro sports teams all over the world, but very few college basketball programs have it. So right now if you look, there's five guys that are not highlighted in orange. Those are the guys that are playing right now. Um, basically allows us to focus on how much load they're accumulating, how fast they're accumulating that load, how fast their peak accelerations are, which is related to how quickly they're moving, and then the time that they spend in certain player loads. Daniel Kant Hall is assistant director of sports performance. In a corner of the BMO Harris Bradley Center near the band, his laptop records live IMA data. So we've noticed that like two hard to hard days in a row, Followed by a third day, someone's going to get injured. Daniel and his laptop aren't the only ones tracking player movement. Sportview is player tracking data. So basically they use six to eight cameras on the catwalk um, of the arena and it's able to track um, the players while they're in the game. You can collect countless data. A group of team managers operate the Sportview system for video coordinator Jake Prasuti. Sportview dials in via Skype. It could be anything from distance traveled for a player and you can do that in miles. From the data they create diagrams to show where the shots were taken. Um, it, can, it can go as advanced as how far defenders are off ball screen coverages. From the eyes in the sky and the laptop in the corner. By the time Marquette coaches leave the arena after a game, they have all of this data at their fingertips. You can only manage what you can measure. So this is 
a way for us to measure work, and the, the players' workload per day, per session, per week, per month, per, per season. Coaching is, has really evolved. Everything from advanced stats to all the new technology in the weight room and now the technology on the court, I think it's helped with, it's a supplement. You know, I don't think we're ever gonna, you're never gonna completely use the data and go away from the eye test, but now it's a supplement that you can't turn the blind eye to.